Three top-ranked tennis players are coming to Hong Kong this Christmas as the city continues to write its comeback story. Taylor Fritz, Hubert Hercage and Cameron Norrie will headline the event. I'm James Chow with The China Current speaking with Philip Mock. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really exciting event. I think for the vast majority of Hong Kong tennis fans, they uh, may not have witnessed uh, professional men's tennis life in action. So Victoria Park Tennis Stadium is a very intimate stadium and they can have the opportunity to be really close up with the players. And I think they will really appreciate the athleticism, skill and power of these players that they're going to see. So you've got these top, top, top world names and alongside them we've got top Hong Kong and mainland names, including Coleman Wong, a top Hong Kong junior who is really having a standout year. He won the Australian Open doubles juniors this year and before that the US Open junior doubles. Do you think they're going to fare well against these top players? Coleman Wong, we we're all very proud of him. You know, he made history for Hong Kong tennis by winning those two junior Grand Slam doubles tournaments and you know, all the fans love him, the media love him. He is just transitioning now from junior tennis to the professional men's circuit and already his ranking has been rising. But of course, it takes some time for him to be able to reach world-class level. So having an opportunity like this in Hong Kong, whereby he can compete with the best in the world, I think will be a real eye-opener for him. And it, you know, it's not just like a casual hitting session, it's actually competing in a packed stadium against the best in the world. We're starting to see really exciting young junior players in Hong Kong who have a big punch on the global stage. How do you get from, say, a Coleman Wong, who's now transitioning to that, into a Taylor Fritz? I mean, you see lots of juniors even win big tournaments like the Orange Bowl, who never quite just make it. So what's the magic from transforming the junior into the top senior? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Um, tennis is a global sport. It is extremely competitive. There are probably tens of thousands of people who tries but never really made it. But that's okay because there's only you know, one number one in the world and there's only one Grand Slam champion. But as long as I think you have your, your goals, your dreams, and you, you do your best to chase after it, uh, I think uh, that's what really counts. Philip, I want to finish off with this. You're a rare person in Hong Kong. We have lots of talented people in our great city, but you're very globally exposed in your role and in other aspects of your life. You have an interest in education, in health, and also in wildlife at international levels. Do you think that sports, and including tennis, and all these other interests you have, are useful entry points into solving global issues that we face today, including how do we save our planet? Absolutely. Well, sports and tennis isn't going to solve every problem this world is facing. However, I think there are a lot of things that you can do with sports, particularly for uh, people uh, like myself who are in positions of influence. So sports, I think it's a great uh, vehicle to um, help uh, young people to provide them with uh, upward uh, social mobility and for elderly to provide like a social structure for them and also to keep them engaged you know through the rest of their retired lives so i think tennis uh, can really can it can be really powerful if you put your mind to it please give a warm welcome for james chow I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere.